Last week at the Keep we had a World War II home front event and one of the items from our collection that we were showing people is this. Now this is actually one of the nastier things that you might have found dropping out of the sky around you during World War II. This is a German butterfly bomb. Now these things um, are anti-personnel munitions and they're also what we call cluster bombs. So they don't just drop one, there's a container load of the things with anything from six to 108 to 144 of these things inside. So you don't just find one, you find lots. The idea is they're dropped out of the container. When they're released, this happens. So the wings spring out and it basically comes down a bit like a sycamore seed, slows its descent. And as it's coming down, it unwinds this arming rod. So on the way down, it arms itself and then it hits the deck and from then on, it is a very, very sensitive object. The slightest nudge will set it off. So they were very difficult to disarm. And they dropped these things on Ipswich in 1940, on Hull uh, in 1943, large quantities. Eventually, some of the bomb disposal guys discovered that if you were able to screw the rod back in, that would disarm it. But that was a terribly dangerous thing to do. Um, so most of them were just blown up in situ. Um, now they were used in quite large numbers in other theatres of war. Um, they caused quite large numbers of casualties. Two kilograms of explosive, that's quite a bang. And in fact the last fatality that we know of um, with a butterfly bomb happened on Malta in 1981. And a guy there picked the thing up minus its wings and I think he was using this bit this is wood now, but it's a, it's a cast steel container full of explosive. He was using it as an impromptu hammer, and it detonated, and unfortunately it killed him. So that is a really very nasty object.